Hello again. This is a shameless plug for my latest book about the suffragettes. Six years ago, a book of mine was published called Suffragette Bombers. It told the story of the first terrorist campaign in Britain of the 20th century. The suffragettes, militant members of the Women's Social and Political Union, bombed railway stations, trains, cathedrals, dockyards, shops, all sorts of other locations. In 1914, a bomb exploded in Westminster Abbey. And that same year, the first terrorist bomb of the 20th century exploded in Northern Ireland at a cathedral in Lisburn. This was planted not by the IRA, of course, but by the suffragettes. In my new book, Suffragette Fascists, I explore the politics of Britain's first domestic terrorists. Their leader, Emmeline Pankhurst, was a right-wing demagogue who campaigned against trade unions. She was in favour of concentration camps and ethnic cleansing. And she helped to try and break the general strike. We all know that Winston Churchill worked against the general strike in 1926. Emmeline Pankhurst helped him because she really despised socialism and particularly the trade union movement. She was even adopted by the Conservative Party as a candidate, which not everybody seems to know. I might mention also that her daughter was in prison during the Second World War for pro-Nazi sympathy. She was interned because it was thought that she might try and help the Germans. Like other fascist parties, the Women's Social and Political Union was financed by wealthy and aristocratic donors who saw them as a means of opposing the newly established Labour Party. This is why they supported terrorism. They wanted to create an atmosphere of unease in the country which would bring about support for the right wing of the Conservative Party rather than the new Labour Party. The suffragettes were rampantly anti-Semitic. I explore this in my new book as well. And their mass rallies with all the uniforms and the chanting and singing of songs foreshadowed both Mussolini's fascists and Hitler's Nazis. Emmeline Pankhurst was the first political leader of the 20th century to be referred to as simply the leader. That's a title that Mussolini adopted as Il Duce and of course Hitler as the Führer. Anyway, the book's published by Pen and Sword Books and it comes out on the 30th of June, available from all good booksellers and of course it'll be on Amazon as well. Thank you.